Howdy folks, Jake here. Thought I'd take a second and just talk about very basic uh, rhythm approach that I use for filling gaps uh, or holes in, in a song. And that's uh, talking about like at the end of a vocal line, let's say the, the phrase finishes and then there's nothing for a measure or two until the solo starts or until the, the next line of the song starts or whatever the case may be. Uh, what we're gonna end up learning is a real good way to fill that space. So let's talk about the basics first. Um, assuming most of you probably know this much, but we'll talk about it anyway. So the chord we're going to be holding to, to play this is just a G chord. It'll work for any chord. We're going to do a G. Um, and the way I get my G chord is, is just like so. So middle finger here, ring finger here, pinky here. Um, I leave my index finger off. Uh, that keeps me freed up to do little things with it, like maybe hammer on. Or even do that famous rest stroke G run or any combination of those things. So anyway, um, what we're gonna do is start off with our basic pattern, which is you're gonna hit the big string followed by a strum, then hit the D string, the open D string, followed by a strum. And that the count of that is just like this. Uh, I'll play it just straight and simple like I um, explained it a second ago. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? So the next thing uh, we want to add to that is we'll put a eighth note which is counted as an and, so we'll say one, two, and, three, four, and. So those eighth notes will go after our th two and four uh, counts. And they're represented as upstrokes uh, with my right hand. So we'll have one, two, and, three, four, and. And you want that to be smooth and seamless, count it evenly like this. One, two, and, three, four, and, one, now on those ands, I'm only hitting the top, I say top, the high, um, couple strings. I'm, I'm not drag, I'm not pulling my pick all the way back through up to my bass strings. It would be far too muddy and it wouldn't uh, articulate in the correct way like we want it to, to kind of cut through the mix and, and sound syncopated. Uh, so we have one, two, and three, four and. Okay, good. The next thing we'll do is add an and after our three. Is that right? One, two, and three, and four, and yeah, that's it. So same principle applies. We're gonna go one, two, and three, and four, and. Okay? Now with that, we want to make sure our down ups are right. So we have down, down, up, down, up, down, up, as far as our right hand uh, pattern goes. And that's gonna sound like this. One, two, and three, and four, and. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. I like to really accent the uh, and four. One, two, and three, and four, and. Yeah, so and four um, is a good place to put a little more wrist into it. And what I mean by that is we'll turn our wrist inward and, and add just a little more of a twisting, almost wet towel snap motion. Um, that would sound like this. Uh, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. All right, so. That's kind of that rhythm pattern everyone calls whipping it like a mule is, is kind of the, um, kind of the impression you get from that one. So uh, let's see, the last thing, let's take that same count, one, two, and three, and four, and, and let's, instead of doing strums on the last half of the measure, we're gonna simply do um, single notes. So that would be like, we'd start it the same way, one, two, and, now for three and four, and, we're gonna go three, and four, and one. Okay, so what I did there, three is a downstroke on the D string, 
and is an upstroke on the G. Four is a downstroke on the B string, and is an upstroke on the high E. And that's gonna sound like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, um, you can also do rest strokes there. If it's not too terribly fast, a rest stroke kind of has a neat effect. So instead of all the down ups, we would go straight down through those first three, which would be um, three and four and like so. So that would be. That's what it sound like with the rest strokes. If you want to do like a triple down up. Um, what does it sound like up to speed uh, the other way? It just adds a nice little bit of rhythmic syncopation. And uh, you could use that in a lot of places like, uh, oh shoot, let's say the last half of Old Home Place on a chorus there, you're coming out of it. Um, and why did I leave the plow in the field? And look for a job in the town. So you just add that little bit of extra push at the end. Um, also, coming out of it, a good thing to talk about is to really whip that last, um, I think it's on a two following the, the specific lick we learned, uh, which would be here. That two strum following the next measure, really whip that one up. Anyway, hope that uh, gives you something to play around with and you have fun with it. Uh, if you didn't, it wasn't me. It was all your imagination. <laughs> Stay safe. Thanks, folks.